Holly Jackson reporting from Kids First, and today I have the pleasure to speak with Zeth Carr, who plays Leo Thompson in the upcoming Netflix film, The Main Event, which is based off an 11-year-old aspiring wrestler who discovers a magical mask and enters a competition to become the next WWE superstar, one of many films that Zeth Carr has accomplished. How are you today, Zeth? I'm doing great today. That's wonderful to hear. First off, I'd like to start off by saying you started your career at just a very young age. You started when three months old as a baby model, and as you got older, you became you became opening eye for the interest of acting, which blossomed into something trailblazing. What have you learned as you've grown into a successful actor? Um, like being humble is really good. I'll always like um like uh, do your best job that you can always put your best foot out there and stuff um, and have fun when you're doing acting always have fun yes I think that is some great advice actually for those leaning into an acting career hoping for it to be as successful as yours has turned out and related to that the main event is scheduled to be released on April 10th coming very soon to Netflix you play the main character 11 year old Leo Thompson who dreams to make it to the WWE can you elaborate more on your character? How do you relate to your character? Um, so basically, um, Leo Thompson is, um, well, Leo is more of a, a kid that's very shy, doesn't really have any friends and stuff. But when he puts the mask on and becomes a kid chaos, he's very um, um, confident, outrageous, like can talk to anybody, not shy at all and stuff. Yes, I got to view the film, actually, and I see there was such a difference. Your voice actually has a complete change when you put on the mask, and it's a total difference. It's a deeper voice, and you gain these superpowers when you're out there going, so I think that's really awesome. And I admire so much about your character's his determination. Leo will do whatever it takes to achieve his dream of becoming a WWE superstar, and I think that's so awesome that you can relate to him that way. And in the main event, you got to work with a few WWE superstars, such as Kofi Kingston, and what was your experience like working with them? It was great. They all like are funny, have great personalities. They're all huge people, very tall. <laughs> yes. But um, they're really fun to work with. That is breathtaking getting to work with actual WWE superstars. I can't imagine what it was like. And like you said, they are very tall. They are very tall, actually. Yes. And do you have any stories that you can share of the things that happened while making the main event? Um, well, when we were, um, well, actually, like, the first day of training, like, being on, like, the, like, the stage and stuff, like, they actually put me on a harness and had me, uh, doing flips and stuff to see what I could do, to see if I was, like, if I could do some of the stunts and stuff, so I, the first day I went, I did, like, a couple, like, they asked me, can you do a front flip? I was, like, uh, I haven't really tried, and they're, like, can you, what about back flips? Like, not that easy. I was, like, oh, we'll put, on, we'll put you on a harness, harness, and we'll see, um, we'll see how you do. So the first time, did a front flip, and then I just had, like, a little bit of a hard time doing a back flip, but after, after a couple tries, uh, I got it down. But that was just a crazy experience, being on a harness, because I've never, like, been on a harness like that, like, and it's really tight to you. <laughs> that's cool to hear the little background action there is a lot of flips you do you climb to the top and you just flip on them and you have to like it's a lot of technique and I was wondering how did you do all that but now that I know and that's pretty cool to get to learn the back like the back behind the scenes and besides you being an actor what's a typical day for you as a 12 year old when you're not on a tv or movie set well like I, I'm doing online school so like I'm doing online schooling and stuff and uh, I love playing video games with my friends like whenever I can. It's really fun to hang out with and stuff. Uh, I play with my dog, uh, watch movies at my house, like watch like old movies that I've seen before and stuff. I can relate to you that way. My grandpa loves to watch old movies. I feel like he just, I don't know what, he's like obsessed with them. So I kind of watch him with it and I like to play with my dog as well. So that's pretty cool. What do you hope the audience could take away from this, from watching this film? What do you think is the main message? Um, don't let anyone put you down. You can accomplish anything when you put your mind to it. Um, always keep your head straight. Never look down and keep going forward. Never go back. Yes, I know this film contains a lot of excitement and action. However, it also captures the friendship between you and your friends. And to see how much they kind of support you and always lift you up and they're there for you, that's, that's awesome. You have played a variety of different characters throughout the years. What character is your favorite so far and what would you like to take on that you haven't done yet? 
Um, my favorite character, like out of like all all the stuff that I've like done and stuff. Yes, out of the variety of TV shows, movies, your favorite character overall. I think I'm gonna have to say like Kid Chaos. I mean, getting to play like two different characters and like getting to be in two different shoes at the same time, like it's crazy because you get to see one side of the story and then you get to see the other side of the story and how they come together and then to form one person. And it's just, um, it's really cool. I, I kind of like see myself like in the middle, like being like, like not like so shy as Leo, but not so overconfident as Kid Chaos. I kind of feel myself like being in the middle. Like I can be confident and stuff, but I'm not to the shy that to like shy to the point where like I don't talk to anybody and stuff. I see. So you're able to relate with both sides of your characters. Yes. That's amazing. What advice do you have for our audience about pursuing a career in the entertainment business, whether on camera or behind the scenes? Um, you always have to have fun whenever you're doing acting. Um, uh, don't let anyone put you down because acting, there's so many opportunities out there. There's so many different things that you could be doing that's happening around the world. And um, just um, give it your best shot. Always give it your best shot. Thank you for that. That is also some great advice of what you have put on earlier. And I kind of want to touch back on what you said about you. Your when I asked you about what's a typical day as a twelve-year-old, you know, doing homeschool, playing with your dog. How do you balance school and a personal life when you are shooting? Um. Well, like, like definitely when I'm on set, like it's professional. Like I'm, I'm working with other adults. We, we want to get a job done. We want to put our best effort to make a a great film for our audiences and stuff. But also, like, you don't want it to be overwhelming. So, like, you have to have fun on set, which is why you need to have fun. You don't want it to be stressful and stuff. But you also have to take it serious. And there's parts and times where you can have fun on set. But when you come out of set, you're, you're a 12 year old kid, you're home, you study your script a little bit, then you're kind of back to being you. Yeah, you know, I kind of, I kind of see that, you know, being able to go on set, play a variety of different characters, coming back, you're a regular 12 year old who loves to play with his dog. So that's cool. Thank you for sharing with that, Misa. And yes. that's it for now. This is Natalie Jackson from Kids First. Thank you so much, Jeff Carr, for speaking with me. The main event brings the WWE, Big Dreams, and A Little Magic to Netflix coming to you on April 10th. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and come back for more interviews and reviews of the latest films in Clee Players and Family Entertainment. Thanks for watching. Bye! To the main event! Wow, you're very hungry. Are you okay? I've been burning a lot of calories lately.